Hi guys, this is your video for Unit 2, Lesson 10, which is all about comparing situations by examining ratios. So what we're going to do is we're going to use ratios to compare situations. And the types of situations that we might compare is which is a better deal, which item is cheaper, who runs faster, which person will get there first. Um, we have a couple different examples for you here. And to do that, we're going to use the concept that we've been talking about the last couple days about unit rate and how much for one. Remember that we also know for one is also the vocabulary word per. So we're going to use that information to help us compare different situations. So for example, here at the beginning, these are two treadmill screens. It says May and Jada each ran on a treadmill. Here are their treadmill displays, the distance in miles each person ran, and the amount of time it took them in minutes and seconds. So we want to know some things that are the same about their workouts. Okay. So a couple things that are the same here. They both have an incline of 10. They both ran 3.0 miles. Okay. Looks like they were both on level 12. And there might be some more, but we're just going to name a few. And then a few items that were different. Obviously, they have different times. One is 24 minutes and one is 30 minutes. Okay. Right here in this circle, these are different. This is their pace. So that's how um, long it takes them to run one mile. And their calories are different. Question two says, is each person ran at a constant speed the entire time who is running faster? So constant speed means the same speed the entire time. They weren't going fast and slow. They didn't sprint some, walk some, jog some. They just went at the same pace. It's kind of like when you set the cruise control on your car. So if both of them ran three miles, so their distance is the same. So I'm going to put May as three miles in 24 minutes. And Jada was three miles in 30 minutes. Well, we can see that they have the same number of miles. So since these are equal, all we have to do is compare the time. 24 minutes is less, which means that that is a faster time because she finished the race first. So May was the faster runner because she has a um, lower number of minutes that it took her, so she ran faster. All right, that was just a warm-up activity, and now we're going to get into activity two about concert tickets. It says that Diego paid $47 for three tickets to a concert. So that's some important information. So I'm going to put Diego. He has $47 and three tickets. Andre paid... $141 for nine tickets. So then I have Andre down here, $141 for nine tickets. So I have both of their ratios. And the question wants to know, did they pay the same rate? So are they equivalent to each other? Okay. So if we find our multiplier, okay, 41 times 1, or 47 times 1 is 47, so it's more than that. 3 times 3 is 9. And if we do 47 times 3, we would find that that was equal to 141. These have the same multiplier. So, yes, they are equivalent. We know they're equivalent because they have the same multiplier and it, on both sides. So 
they cost the same amount. So Diego and Andre both paid the same price. On the next page, sparkling orange juice. Lynn and Noah each have their own recipe for making sparkling orange juice. Lynn's mix is three liters with four liters of soda water. And Noah mixes four liters of orange juice with five liters of soda water. We want to know how they compare in taste and how we know. So I'm going to draw some number lines here. Okay, and this is for Lynn and OJ and soda water. And I'm going to put, we'll say six tick marks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have zero, three orange juice, and then zero, and four soda water. So we know our top number is counting by three. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. And across the bottom, we're counting by fours, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And then I'm also going to draw Noah over here, his double number line. So I have two people, so I have to draw two double number lines. Orange juice, soda water. One, two, three, four, five, six tick marks. Okay. Noah has four liters of orange juice and five of soda water. So the orange juice line for Noah is counting by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. And his bottom line is counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All righty. So now we need to decide if they're going to taste the same or different. So when we're doing this, we need to pick an ingredient and find an amount where the ingredient matches. So for example, if we have four, those don't match, eight doesn't match, 15 and 12 don't match, 16, 20 don't match, but 20 and 20 match. Okay. So I'm going to look at over here and right here. Our soda water is both 20. So for Noah, we have 20 to 16. And for Lynn, we have 20 to 15. So they want to know if these are equivalent and will taste the same. Okay? No, they are not equivalent. Okay? Because this 15 and the 16 are different numbers, so they won't taste the same. Okay, if they both have 20 soda water, Lynn's is going to taste a little bit less orange juicy. Noah's is going to have a little bit more of an orange flavor because he has more orange juice. We know they are not equivalent because if we have 20 to 16 and 20 to 15, this would be times 1. And this is not times 1. Okay, so these are different, so not equivalent. All right. And for the lesson summary. Okay. So if we see the words um, same rate, it means that they we can write an equivalent ratio for one or both of the situations. Okay. So same rate means equivalent ratio. And then here's an example here of the ratio 9 to 15, 3 to 5, and 6 to 10. Proving that these are all equivalent. They all have nice circles going up and down. When we talk about two things happening at the same rate, okay, we mean that the ratios have quantities and that the situations are equivalent. So same rate, equivalent. So for example, 
If two ladybugs are moving at the same rate, they have the same constant speed. If they are selling for the same rate, they have the same unit price. If we mix two kinds of juice at the same rate, then they will have the same taste. If we mix two colors of paint, they will have the same shade. So those are some important vocabulary words that you might see on your homework and upcoming on tests and quizzes. As a reminder, you do have a quiz on Monday and there will be two practice quizzes on the math calendar that you can use to help you study. If you have any questions, please email me or have your parents text me and I will get back to you over the weekend. I will see you Monday.